How often has this happened to you? You have a conversation on social media, use a search engine to find information, or like a friend's vacation photo. Then suddenly you see advertisements all over the web for products that are weirdly relevant to your online activities. Maybe you're happy to see ads related to your interests, but maybe also a little creeped out because the online platforms you're using appear to be spying on you undetected. Did you give them permission to do this? Do you want large corporations to know your every move online? Why is this even happening in the first place? And what does it have to do with how we seek and consume information in our daily lives? Google, Facebook, YouTube, Amazon, and other online platforms want to keep us engaged with their products and services. So they use algorithms, complex computational formulas, to show us advertisements, search results, news, and other content based on the personal data they collect about us. Our searches and clicks, our likes and dislikes, are tracked and fed into algorithms that determine what we see and what we don't see. The result of this automated process is that our information is filtered for us by invisible computer code, using our location, our presumed identity characteristics such as age and gender, our hobbies, interests, and shopping habits, our relationships, and even our political views. And unless we work behind the scenes for a tech company, we have very little knowledge about how or why the algorithms function the way they do, why we might see certain things and not others. What are the implications of this mysterious filtering process? If our online ecosystem is tailored to us, or assumptions about us, we are less likely to be exposed to diverse perspectives and conflicting points of view. We might miss important information because it never shows up in our personalized news feeds or search results. We might never hear about certain products, services, or opportunities. So our worldview is narrowed and shaped by algorithms. The internet becomes an echo chamber that reinforces what we already think and believe, and our ideas are never challenged. The more time we spend in this echo chamber, the more likely we are to become entrenched in our own beliefs and resist alternative views. We like the things we like, and the algorithms give us even more stuff we like. In this way, services such as YouTube or Twitter can contribute to political extremism and polarization, where different groups and communities no longer operate with the same set of facts. When we're searching the web or interacting with social media, we need to think about the limitations of the information we are exposed to as a result of algorithms. We need to consider how companies may use bits and pieces of our personal data to stereotype us and constrain the content we see. How do we do this? Watch the next video for five steps you can take to be more mindful of algorithms and their implications.